fair, get ready, and hopefully yeah. that's all we have to do this season. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Not, hopefully a good season. Yes, hopefully a good season. It's supposed to be active, but we'll see. Not quite focused on hurricanes just yet. We're still keeping an eye on possible severe weather, and our eyes are set on a complex of storms that are moving and still kind of evolving over eastern Texas. And what's been frustrating for us as meteorologists is that the models have not really been consistent. Now, earlier model runs had a very well-defined bow echo. Not that we want to see that, but it's nice to know exactly what is coming our way. That bow echo would have been strong winds, maybe right along the state line, but the models have changed a little bit. Notice there have been some tornadic storms to our north, not really anticipating that with the cell that's moving our way. The primary threat will be the strong winds as well as hail. You always have to mention a tornado because it cannot be completely ever ruled out. Now, this is one model. Notice it's kind of overplaying the complex of storms. It really has been more cellular in nature, and it's a complex north of Houston that we'll be watching. Now, this will be moving in after midnight tonight, probably closer to 2 a.m. or so, affecting our North Shore parishes. And this one has a little bit sooner than that. But it does have kind of a solid area of thunderstorms, maybe even kind of a bowing here uh, through the North Shore early in the morning and then quickly moving out. We will see some heavy rainfall with it, but the fact that these are going to be moving so quick, I don't think that's going to be a widespread issue. The main threat will be possibly, depending upon the structure of the system, widespread wind damage for, through the overnight period. Again, damage is damage, whether or not it was caused by strong winds or a tornado. Right now, we're under mostly cloudy sky. Still feels like 90 degrees and not much of a breeze outside at all. Temperatures are in the low 80s and with dew points still in the mid and upper 70s, it still feels like the low 90s. We can't get rid of the heat, but we will as we get a front to move through. Before that front moves through, we'll have that risk of some of those storms. Light wind out of the south at the moment, but the environment is fairly conducive for some of those possible storms on the North Shore later on tonight. And as mentioned at the top of our newscast, we now have all of the North Shore under that level three. Still hot tomorrow, but we'll be coming less humid throughout the day, and then less humid air will be with us through the weekend, and they'll be watching for quite a bit of rainfall headed our way into next week. So a very active line of storms, but our interest is only in that area over in Texas. This model kind of dissipates the area that could move across the North Shore and really keeps the main focus of the storms north of us and more so across southwestern Mississippi. And that's kind of interesting because this is our high resolution model. Again, there's that complex. As we go through the overnight, it starts to weaken as it moves into western Louisiana. Now, this will be a trend. I'll be up watching it through the early morning hours. Now, again, this has a little bit slower, not really getting here until maybe some of the rainfall at 2 and then continuing toward 3. Now, look, it does kind of intensify again, so that is still a possibility. The environment will be primed. We may see some kind of weakening and fluctuation of those storms as they approach. So we'll be watching for that trend during the overnight. It does look like the main risk will be on the North Shore, more so, though, I think in the southwestern Mississippi. But as mentioned, the Storm Prediction Center has lowered or moved south that uh, enhanced level three threat for severe storms to include all of the North Shore. Heavy rainfall is possible, but not really as much of an issue as those storms are going to be moving through very, very quickly. As we head into next week, we're going to see numerous rounds of rainfall, thankfully holding off for the most part on Mother's Day. Our rain chance only around 30%, and that looks to be more later in the day. Then rainfall comes in Monday into Tuesday, may get a break here on Wednesday, then another round on Thursday. Don't pay too much attention to the timing of these uh, rounds of rainfall moving our way. That is still being fine-tuned, but we'll be watching closely for the chance of storms on the North Shore overnight tonight.